Hi everybody, I'm Tasha and uh, in front of me I've got a command block that calculates square root. Uh, it just It's just one block. As you can see I have no other command blocks in this world and uh, uh, I can provide input to it by assigning me some score in this test objective I set up. So let's say 49 and uh, I power it and as you can see I've got a result of 7. Uh, by the way you can see the result on the right in the same test objective. Um, let's say 81. Mm, I've got a result of 9 and uh, what about 80. I've got the same result and um, 1600 for example 40 so yeah it works and uh, it's just one block um, as you may notice with uh, 80 result is being rounded up and um, if we, uh, if you want to round it down, you actually have to place uh, one more block and modify the command a little bit, like so. And now the result will be rounded down. So uh, for 80, it will output 8, as you can see. Uh, so let me explain now how it works and uh, what makes it possible. Actually, this is what makes it possible, and this expression may look scary for someone, but let me explain uh, what it means. So basically, um, as you can see, I've got a square uh, in front of me, and uh, uh, you can look at this square kind of like uh, like this. So it it's 1 plus 3 plus 5 blocks over here and 7 blocks here and uh, 9 blocks here and uh, 11 blocks there. So uh, the way uh, th this command block I showed you works is it uh, subtracts first 1 from the uh, input number, then 3, 5, uh, 7, 9, and 11, and uh, so on. And uh, on each step it checks if uh, the number is less than 0. And uh, if so, then we get our result. And the result is the number of steps uh, it did. So how did I manage to do such thing with just one command block? Well, easy, with armor stands. Armor stands are so good, you can place armor on them, you can do sculptures with them, you can even calculate square roots with them. Uh, so uh, I've used uh, the new version of my Redstone programming language for this, version 1.1. I've generated some command blocks with uh, it that uh, summoned uh, 200 uh, armor stands and each one of them, uh, the, the first one of them has a score of 1, score in a, a special objective I use, uh, actually in this objective. Um, so the first armor stand has a score of 1, the second has a score of 3, the third have a score of 5 and so on. 5, 7, 9, 11 and the command over here uh, executes uh, for uh, every armor stand and uh, the important thing here is that uh, the following command executes for uh, all of the armor stands in the order of their creation. So. First it executes for the first armor stand that was created, then for the second, and so on. Um, 
and uh, the actual command just uh, subtracts uh, the square of the current armor stand in this objective from uh, my score in the test objective if uh, it's uh, more than zero. So uh, if my score is uh, less than zero that uh, this operation fails. And then I use the stats command to assign the success count of this command block to the result uh, value in the test objective. So the success count uh, from this block goes uh, right over here in the result value. So in the end, uh, in this uh, result value, we get how many times we subtracted the number from the input, if that makes sense. So if we subtract it just once, it, the result is 1, and if we subtracted it twice, so 1, and then we subtracted 3, the result is 2, and if we subtracted 1, then 3, then 5, the result is 3, and uh, if we stopped at 7, the result is 4, and so on. Um, now let me show you the script that I used and uh, I'll talk about the RPL 1.1 features and changes a little bit. Here's the script and uh, in the very first line we see some uh, new stuff in RPL 1.1. This is a new directive, one timeline and uh, uh, it is essentially the same as function line but uh, uh, it will, this line will remove itself after the first time it fires. So you place a redstone block uh, over in this coordinates and this command are executed and then all this uh, command box will be replaced with air. And the second line we don't really need anymore. So uh, the second line we're summoning uh, armor stand over on these coordinates and this is also a new feature in 1.1 so you can do this to uh, get an absolute coordinates relative to the MC edit selection so if you want to get an absolute coordinates relative to the selection you can do this now and uh, the specifics is in the documentation uh, so, and we're creating an armor stance uh, with no gravity, invisible, and uh, with custom name from uh, custom name N from 1 to 200. That is N1, N2, and so on. In the next line, we assign uh, some score to this armor stance in this objective from. 1 to 399 with step 2. So it's 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on like I told you. Uh, then we're creating uh, two blocks that actually do the trick. This is command I showed you earlier and uh, this is so we can uh, round the result down. And uh, in this block we do some secondary stuff. Here's uh, one more new directive. This will uh, create a command block that will uh, add uh, all the objectives we use in the script uh, above this directive. So uh, it will uh, create the test objective and RPL as QRT numbers objective. And uh, with this word it will also remove the objective beforehand so uh, we can just uh, sort of reset it just uh, remove all data from them using this directive and then we assign the player score in test objective to zero and also the result to zero and uh, here's the stats command I told you about and this is uh, so it's 
takes this block this is uh, this is the coordinates of this block and uh, sets its success count to be assigned to uh, result in test objective uh, and this is just sets uh, display uh, so yeah that's pretty much it for a new uh, RPL 1.1 features and uh, there's some bug fixes I think and uh, I've changed this silly sheep's uh, selector to just sheep uh, I'm sorry my English is not perfect so this happens uh, I fixed it and you can download RPL 1.1 in the description and uh, I've also pasted some of the uh, these commands in the description so you can uh, create a block like this by yourself. Uh, other than that, uh, thanks for watching.